Oh my gosh. Live. I'm live. I'm gonna wait. I don't see anybody. But this is a recording. Oh my gosh. Okay, and somebody joined. Hi! Um, this is my first ever, um, this is my first ever Periscope broadcast. So welcome. And um, if you don't know me, I'm Emily from Fresh Paper Studios, and I design wedding invitations and personal stationery um, and brand identities <laughs> for, hi Barbara, um, and brand identities for creative small businesses. Hi Karen! Um, oh, and look at all the hearts. Oh, you guys are so sweet. You're making me feel so, hi! Um, so good on my first ever broadcast. So, um, yeah, this is the part I might edit out of, um, the tutorial that I'm going to put on YouTube or maybe not, maybe I'll keep it in. Um, so anyway, uh, without further ado, I, um, a few weeks ago, I did a tutorial about on YouTube about how to turn your drawings into a vector image in Illustrator. And, um, I've been meaning to follow up, um, and do a video on how to color that, but I keep putting it off because the video editing takes me forever, like 10 hours to do a 10 minute video. So, um, I don't know, I've been getting into this Periscope thing and I thought, why don't I just do the tutorial live? <laughs> um, and so here goes nothing. So I'm going to show you how, um, I add, yes, thank you, Holly. Ain't nobody got time for that. 10 hour editing. Ugh, I'll figure it out at some point. I'm sure I'll get a workflow. But um, in the meantime, let's try this live Periscope thing out. So um, yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm doing. I have to figure out how to turn the camera around so that <laughs> you can see what I'm doing. Oh, I think I want to keep it. Sorry, I'm going to jostle you guys. Um, shoot. Sorry. Oh, so, oh, good idea, Karen. Um, I, yeah, I'll figure out. Oh, crap. I muted myself. Okay. <sighs> Thanks for bearing with me, guys. Okay. So, here we go. Um, so this is the drawing I did a couple weeks ago that I put on YouTube. We turned this little ring into a vector. I hope you guys can hear me. There's like noise in the background. Um, and so I'm going to add some color to this. So the first thing I'm actually going to do, I'm going to put you guys down here, is I want to make a couple of these so I can show you a couple different ones. Um, there's a few ways to do this, but I'm just going to Command C. Oh, thank you, Barbara. And then Command V to paste. And I'm just going to stick this one over here. So now we have two. So I can show you two different kind of same method, but two different ideas for coloring. So, um, my favorite way to color, to use the live paint bucket right here. And sometimes if you see this one, the shape builder, it's hidden under there. So we want live paint bucket and it will come up and tell you what color your, your bucket is. Um, and I just realized I'm, I'm going to pretend I did this on purpose. If I just click right away, it's going to give me an, an error message that says, you can only do this in live paint groups. And it usually takes me about 10 times to figure out what they're talking about. And I realize I just need to select what I'm going to color first. So I'm going to select this whole thing and go back and get my live paint bucket. And it's black right now. Um, this is already black, so that's, I don't need that. So I'm gonna go up to my colors here and I want to color the ring part gold. So I'm gonna select gold and now you can see that gold um, is in my, is the color that my live paint bucket's gonna be. And so I'm just gonna click this area and it's going to turn the whole thing gold and then see how easy that was and you can arrow through colors which is fun or you can just go up here and select um, or wherever you like to select your colors you can I'm gonna pick this light blue for the diamond 
and I'm gonna fill in that. And then I want to do like a golden yellow for these um, little shine bits. And so if you, come on, you can see it when you hover over it, it turns red to show you what you're about to color. And it won't let you color on something that um, is just like open space, like the background. So I'm gonna click on this arrow to kind of click away. And you can see how that looks, that's cute. That's a cute little ring. Um, and if I wanted to, sometimes a fun thing to do is to get rid of this black outline. So I'm gonna select it all again and click on this again. And this is kind of neat. You can actually, you could fill it with white but you could also fill it with no fill. So that's this none um, thing here. And if I click on these black lines while my paint bucket has no fill color, um, it will make, those have no fill. And then, you know, if I put it, if I wanted to put it on a background, that background color will show through. I can do it to these two. So now, oops, I missed one. There we go. Um, so, you know, that's, I really like how that looks to have that, those black outlines gone. So that's, that's how I do it. Um, and then I just wanted to show you the same technique but um, just coloring the black lines and not the inside. So I have my gold. Ah, see, same error message. I can't get the hint. Thanks, Illustrator. <laughs> Back to life paint bucket. Pick my color. And, um, nope. Control Z. I need to zoom in here. Because I want the actual black line to be gold. And then up here, I want the blue, I want those black lines to be blue. So, kind of have to, you know, sometimes even when things are connected, well, so those are all connected and it's gonna let me color it all as one, but these guys are all separate, so I have to do them individually. And I think, let's try this. I don't know if it's gonna work. You guys are gonna bear with me. But um, yeah, I'm clicking with yellow filled and then holding down and just running around through here and they all filled with yellow. Isn't that neat? So there it is. Okay, I'm gonna flip back to me. Okay, that's it. That's all it takes to color a vector image in Illustrator. So that's how to do it. Do you guys have any questions? If you have any questions, type them in. Um, and then I gotta go pick up my stepdaughter <laughs> from school. <laughs> so um, yeah. The, the, Thanks, Karen. Thank you. Thank you, Holly. So I'm going to, my next thing I have to figure out is how to, thank you, Barbara, um, how to like record this because I know it'll just stay up for 24 hours. So I'm going to try to record it and put it on YouTube. So wish me luck. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.